Hi hey guys, welcome to our daily encounter. If you take the book of Genesis to be written by Moses, which I take it to be written by Moses, I think we have pretty good reason to believe that it was written by Moses. We can see how beneficial the book would have been to the Israelites as they were wandering through the wilderness. Those who would have originally heard this text uh, spoken and read to them would have, great, would have found great benefit from this book, particularly chapters 9 and 10 that we read today. Because there's a lot of focus in these two chapters to Canaan. In chapter 9, you have uh, the source, perhaps the source of the animosity between the descendants of Ham, where Canaan comes from, and the descendants of Shem, which is where the descendants, or where the Israelites come from. They were the descendants of Shem. And it all traces back to this um, incident that happens where Noah gets drunk, he, un he uncovers himself, Ham doesn't respect his father, doesn't respect the fact that he's naked, and he goes and tells his brothers, uh, Shem and Jepheth, what happened. And Shem and Jepheth um, walk backwards with a sheet and they cover their father. And when Noah, uh, Noah wakes up, he curses uh, Ham and his descendants. Uh, for what he had done. And this very likely would have caused some animosity between the descendants of Ham and the descendants of Shem and Jepheth, particularly Shem, uh, who was given the greater blessing. And so, as the Israelites would hear this be read, they could see the source of the animosity that would reside between themselves and that of Canaan, uh, the very people that they were about to go up against as they entered into the promised land. So this would have been very helpful information for them to know the source of the animosity, to know, okay, this is why, or this is one of the reasons why uh, these people do see themselves as our enemies. Uh, this is one reason why we are separated as people. And this is uh, really the source of it all. As you get into chapter 10, we can see more of the history of uh, these groups. And you can see the history of Shem, you can see the history of Ham, but also of Ham, and also, uh, of course, Canaan. And you can see the whole history of these two nations, or these several nations. Uh, and as they divide up into multiple nations and are spread out over the face of the earth. And so basically, the Israelites would gain from this, these two chapters, the source of the animosity between them and the Canaanites and the history of the Canaanites. And this would help them to be informed as they enter into the promised land and engage with this enemy. And this is true of us as well. Whenever we find ourselves in a situation where people are antagonistic against us, when people come up against us as our enemy, uh, when they slander us or they abuse us or they do something against us, and they just stand on the other side of the line from us, it's important for us to know these two things. It, it, it helps us to know how to engage with that particular individual or that particular group when we know both their source, the source, and then also their history. Their history is important because it helps you to understand where they're coming from. Whenever you are Whenever you have someone who comes up against you, it's not, it's typically not the case that they're just coming up to you and being uh, belligerent towards you just out of the blue, just randomly. Something in their history is causing them to come up against you in that way, to oppose you in that way. There's something about you, maybe about your personality that reminds them of someone else that they knew, or there's something about your moral stance that agitates them because of something that happened in their history. Everybody that comes up against us in, in an antagonistic way has something in their history that's causing that, um, that feeling of hatred towards us. And so it's important for us to understand what their history is. And sometimes it might be helpful if we have like a coworker or a family member or someone else to consider their history. And if we don't know their history, to find out their history. Maybe ask them some questions about their history. It could be that uh, the way that they were raised uh, 
bent them in that particular direction. Uh, it might be that certain events that happened, some tragic events that occurred in them or occurred to them uh, has caused them to see people in a, in a bad light. It could be a lot of different ways, but it helps us in engaging with those difficult personalities that we come across when we understand a little bit about their history and understand where they're coming from. But it also is important for us to understand the source of that antagonism. Uh, just as it was helpful for the Israelites to understand the source, going back to chapter 9 with Noah in the tent naked and uh, the cursing that would have come from there. And when we understand the source, we can understand better how to handle the situation. And for us as believers, we understand that really the source of all hatred, all slander, all antagonism against uh, believers really finds its source and those dark forces in the heavenly places. In Gen I'm sorry, in Ephesians chapter 6, uh, starting in verse 10, it says, Finally be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. There the Apostle Paul says that, Whenever we find ourselves in a situation where we are encountering some uh, very harsh treatment from other people, when we find ourselves being persecuted for our faith or being ostracized for our faith or whatever it might be, we have to understand that really the source of that isn't necessarily that individual or that particular group, but it, there's spiritual forces behind it all that is causing this to take place. And we, we can understand the source of those problems that arise, we can better handle them because we remember that, okay, I can't engage in this just flesh against flesh. I got to go against this spirit against spirit. And I have to, I have to go about this in a totally different way than I normally would because I know that there's something else behind the scenes making this happen. And so that can help us in those situations where we're having to deal with people who are just really difficult and people who are just bent on giving us a hard time to say, you know what, I know the source of where this is coming from is ultimately coming from uh, those those spiritual forces and the heavenly places. Um, and then I also want to consider that individual's history that perhaps is causing that person to act in the way that they are. And when we can understand both the source and then also the history then we know how to engage in the situation. Then we know how to respond to the situation. And hopefully that will help us as we engage with difficult people, uh, sometimes that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, but even in those situations where we have to deal with them just occasionally. But wherever the case may be, it'll just help us to uh, be better informed and have a better plan when it comes to dealing with those types of situations. So these are things we can reflect on and think about as we do our reading today. With that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.